Good morning. How is everybody? Over here, see if I can find myself on my laptop. There we go. Yep, there I am. <laughs> Laptops being aggravating. <laughs> How are y'all today? I know this is not my usual day, and I'm sorry I wasn't here with y'all Monday or the Monday before. Um, I can give y'all an update in just a minute of what's been going on in my life past few weeks it's been crazy 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 kind of like my laptop over here is acting a little crazy let me see my lap oh my goodness I don't know what's going on with it Anywho's, hey Debbie, hey Jesse. I'll tell y'all, it, it's been been crazy past few weeks. Uh, we didn't say a whole lot about what's been going on at the store, but uh, I'll tell y'all now that it's over, pretty much over with. We had COVID sweep through the store. It started. Well, y'all know it started with me, but, you know, we went for months with nothing. And then um, a few weeks ago, we had two in our meat department to test positive and then two more. And then uh, we ended up with six in our meat department, two in our produce department, uh, our boss, our head manager, and... Uh, a co-assistant manager and then a stalker and because his mom works at the store she's the one that had the eye surgery and was out for two weeks and then her son gets it and uh so she had to quarantine with him so i had two head cashiers and and there was two of us co-assistants and uh me and the co-assistant had to work seven days a week and he ended up working 16 straight days, and I worked 15 straight days without a day off. And then he finally got one when the boss got back, got okay and tested negative and came back to work. And then I got one day off, and uh, that was last week. He got Thursday, I got Friday. And then uh, I had yesterday off and today off. And... Uh, I tell you, <laughs> working that many days straight, it's pretty rough on on the body. And me and him were worn out, but we're just thankful that uh, things are getting back to normal before Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, we were kind of scared of how it was going to be. Thank you, Debbie. We definitely need them. Not just me, but the store needs them and our, my employees need them. And uh, my head cashier is back, so I've got all, all of my head cashiers. My other two, bless their hearts, one had to work six days a week, the other worked five, and then I flipped them. The one, the other one worked six days, and the other one worked five, so that they could have their have some days off. And uh, you know, it you do what you have to do when you work, and. Uh, what has to be done, and that's what we were doing, and uh, so, but anyway, that's what's been going on with my life, that's why I have not had, been on the last two Mondays, you know, my body's been worn out, but I'll tell you, I had an awesome day yesterday, I got up yesterday morning and cleaned house, my house had been so neglected, because, you know, I'm not coming home from work, or getting up early, and cleaning before I would go to work and so my house was crying it was so it was so neglected so I cleaned yesterday did a little bit more this morning and I'm doing laundry and uh, this afternoon I'm gonna rest I got in my crafty room yesterday I'm gonna show y'all what I made I'm just I'm really tickled to death about this 
uh, I got five of one made and just one of the other that I'm going to show y'all because they're the same thing. They're the same setup, the same uh, colors, but they're two different cards. So I'm going to show y'all what I have made. We are using, ooh, I have got, okay, what I was playing with, uh, embossing powder yesterday and did not realize I had it on the back of this card base. I just picked it up and felt it. <laughs> we are using Wrapped in Christmas. I'm going to use this May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. And then I'm going to use Peace on Earth. This is going on my uh, envelope. And then I'm using Itty Bitty Christmas. I'm using Blessed Christmas Wishes. And uh, the dies, I'm using this one right here and uh, this is this I'm just tickled this is the first I have used the wrapped in Christmas I think wait a minute no I let the let the joy the season fill your heart up maybe I used I don't remember I'm so you know <laughs> I'm so scattered brain I can't remember I can't remember we are using some of this real red um, braided linen trim i'm using it on both because i don't have any garden green because garden green and real red's my colors i'm using i'm using some tear and tape here's my stamps they're on uh, stamp c and stamp g or block c and block g one card base is garden green the other card base is real red and uh well there it is <laughs> both have a layer of whisper white the whisper white is cut at five and three eighths by four and eight so both of them have that so that's for both of my cards i have for my inside I have a piece from the green. I have a piece of real red that is five and. Let me a minute. Let me take that back. This is. I think I forgot to write it down. This is five. No, this is. <laughs> this is four and a quarter by three. This is four by two and three fourths. And I did it the same for my other card, but I swapped it around. I used the Garden Green and the Whisper White. Then I have a piece for this real red that is five and three-eighths by two. I have it in Garden Green. I have a piece of the um, Tis the Season DSP. This one is five and three eighths by one and three fourths and since they didn't have this pattern in the real red i'm using this pattern it's still candy canes so i'm using that pattern and i have a piece for this one the green and for this one the red of the foil that i am going to use this die to cut a circle and then i have a piece of just a scrap piece of uh, Whisper White. And we have our envelopes. We have our trim. I have a piece of trim for this one. And my piece of trim for the other one has disappeared, which is okay. I'll just cut another one. It'll show up and I'll use it for something else. <laughs> okay. I would have loved to have had some garden green in this, you know, that would look so pretty to uh swap it up that's okay i'm okay i'm okay i mean you know i'm okay we are using our one and a half inch punch that's what we're going to stamp with um uh, from our we're, we're going to stamp this um lordy mercy <laughs> this may your days be merry and bright on the whisper white and then i'm going to punch it out with a one and a half inch punch so we're going to use some Stampin' Seal because it, the um, Whisper White sticks to the foil really good using the Stampin' Seal. So we're going to do all of our stamping first and I'm going to do it for both cards at the same 
well, not at the same time, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we're going to start with our um, with this one, <laughs> with this one, and we're going to start with the green base. We're going to use real red. And it doesn't matter, it just, just stamp it, you know. Doesn't have to be any certain way. Now then, clean that off. Because the other one, we're using Garden Green. And as you see, it's upside down, but that's okay. We're going to punch it out with our punch so it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we're going to leave these open because now... I'm going to punch the in. I'm going to stamp the inside. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you for sharing. And we're going to, these are the only two colors we're stamping with. And uh, I just like it. I just like it. You know, using opposite colors. I'm just going to line this up the best I can. And I'm going to say, this one with the red base, I do not have my other five. I think I said that, didn't I? Let me, this one is garden green, but I will get those made shortly. Okay, maybe that's not exactly straight, but that's okay. I'm, I'm all right with it. All right, now then, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stamp Peace on Earth on our envelopes. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. I'm going to stamp it right there. Uh, I know y'all wondering, why are you stamping it off over there? It's so I can get as much of that off of uh, my stamp as I can and then not mess up my... Yeah, I did. Whew, there for a minute I thought maybe uh, I had stamped it in the wrong place on my envelope. Because <laughs> I know I don't know if I looked or not. Anyway, it's to, to keep my uh, scrub... A little bit cleaner a little bit longer where I don't have to wash it quite as soon all right now that's every bit of our stamping so I'm going to close up my real red and my garden green yeah there we go and we're going to go ahead and we're going to punch now I did this on small pieces so what I'm going to do is take me a posty note I'm going to put it in the corner right here and it doesn't matter how I stick this in here because it's just it's a circle. And I'm going to punch it out. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And see if you do it in steps, you know, everything I'm doing together, you, you can produce a lot of cards quickly do it in your, doing it in your steps like this. All right, pesty note up there. Always remember to close up your stamp or your punch. This one goes here. This one goes here. <laughs> this one goes here. Okay, I'm getting these backwards here. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to start putting these cards together. Well, no, we're not either. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get the stamp and cut and emboss machine over here real quick. And we're going to... Uh, Cut out our little circles. This won't take just a moment. And then this is, these cards are so quick to put out. You know? Alright, there's my die. Set that there. Cut my red squares I'm using for my foil a little bigger than I did my green. And, uh, Right, sorry, I wasted a little more. Okay, and this, for some reason, it's probably because my plate is so used, it wants to stick to it. All you gotta do is just take your foil piece and just scooch it, and it'll scoot it on off like that. Okay, now we'll get our red circle like this. And I'll lay my die back on the, my magnetic plate there. 
and scooch that one right off. Okay. So, we're done with the stamping and boss machine. Send it back over here out of the way. Now we want to pull this back towards us. Now, <coughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. The uh, stitched, stitch dot, stitch dot, stitch dot. I love this. That is awesome. I can't believe how gorgeous that is. Now, you know how I love my liquid uh, glue, but the Stampin' Seal is the best to use to put this on the back, um, onto your foil, and it's going to stay. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come off or anything. Because of it, how slick it is, you know, glue just kind of wants to slide around on anything that's slick and so that's what I'm using to attach and then I'm gonna put my cap back on it <laughs> I like my stamping seal but I love my liquid glue because that's what we're going to use now and we're going to start putting this card together we're going to start our garden green and I know, I knew I had a own folder somewhere right here. And I did. Okay, we're going to go this way with it. Let's get our real red. Looks like I've got embossing powder on this, too. I'll show y'all what, what I was embossing when I get through here. I was using Robin's tip technique. Hi, Kayla. Glad you're here. Uh, Robin did a technique last week, and I was watching, and, and I really liked it, so I, I gave it a try. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try some things. There's some other things I'm wanting to try, too, so that's what I tried just... I'm going to show you what I tried. I did it last night after supper. Well, just before and after supper. Okay, this is the inside of our card. Go ahead and lay this down on the inside of both of them. Love this. When I'm through here, I'm going to finish up my other four in the uh, with the green with the red base, and uh, let's see. This right, yep, that's right. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I did that wrong, but I didn't. I did it right. <laughs> this goes on the red, the green on the green. I got everything just put wherever here. <laughs> I'm scooting everything around. Be scooting everything around. And this is going to go right here on the green. I'm going to put this on the inside of my card. I'll tell you, I've got a bunch of Christmas cards made this year. Last year, I, didn't, I got all of mine for church and very few past that. But I've got my church cards done, and I've got a lot I'm going to be mailing out. I always try to give a card to my friends at work. Doesn't always happen, but this year it will. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip this over. Now I'm going to attach this. this real red and center it at the best I can line it up at the top if I don't get it perfectly lined up all I gotta do is do this that's the beauty of liquid glue you've got time to scooch it around the way you want it that's one of the reasons why I love my liquid glue because I'm good at sometimes not getting things straight and even, and I like the squishy, these, um, being able to get it 
Now then, all right, now we're going to put, we are going to attach this to the front onto our uh, Whisper White piece here. Now, I don't know how far that is in. Just, just kind of ever wherever you want it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be any certain place. Let me get my white piece over here. I'm going to attach this one to the white right here. And I'll tell you, now this uh, design, I guess, layout, I suppose you could call it. And look there, I cut that too long. With flitter D D. Okay, we know what to do about that, don't we? Alright. I don't usually use my big scissors, but I'm going to cut that off. Okay, that works. <laughs> um I have a friend that uh her name is Mary Gibbs and she does these um uh, layouts I suppose you could call them um, different things and she has them on her um, blog and I watched her the other day and she did this one and I thought oh I love how that's all laid out and it takes uh, yeah Debbie <laughs> yeah if it's this month it's Saturday I'll be 34, uh, 34, yeah, I wish I'd be 34, <laughs> I will be 64, <laughs> you know, that's okay, I don't mind aging, it's part of the, part of life, you know, so, anyways, <laughs> but yeah, I do, okay, that got a little bit longer than I wanted it, now, we're going to do the same thing over here, Kind of just wherever you want to put it. It doesn't even have to be any certain place. And as you see, because of this being the braided linen, I am using tear and tape to uh, hold my thread in place. And it's not going to go anywhere. I don't like using scotch tape for this. I just, I like to use the tear and tape because it's good and sticky and it holds really well. So, there we go. Now, we'll stick this back in here and lay that over there. And then we're going to glue all of this together. This one is going to scooch that down a smidge, center it. Right like that. Oops, not quite straight. There we go. Now we're going to do this one the same way. Look at there. That's a little bit long on that one too. I think I'm. No, I don't want that. Want like that? Let's let's cut that off. Also, it's just not going to stick down as far as the other one did. Oopsie. There we go. All right. Now that's better. Oops. It's not straight either. Look at there. I've got it that way down further than the other. I'm not real happy with that. Let's see. I don't know if I can get that off. I think I'll just leave it. <laughs> I'm going to make it look different, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all right. That glue on my finger. Now, that's all of our gluing. Now, we're going to take, and this, I'm going to we'll flip it over just like this. This one, I'm going to flip it over just like this. And let me find my dimensionals. Okay, I have them. There they are. I knew I had them somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to use six on each one. I'm going to put three on this side and three on this side. 
then leave the middle where it can lay over our linen thread. Alrighty. Let me get my take your pick tool. I got, hmm. Oops, that didn't come off. There it came. Okay, get all these backings off and uh, put this on, and then put our. We're going to be using some bling on this card and I think it turned out so pretty with it looky there now see this is a lot further down than I had intended it to be but that's okay that's okay it still looks good we are using some of these wonderful gems they are from our um, holiday catalog I'm gonna get this other pack because I've used all of the big ones <laughs> So we're going to open this one up and uh, get these big ones right here. And we're almost through with this card. Is this not easy and simple and doesn't take but just a moment to make? And see how you can mass produce this card in just a just not long at all. All you have to do is just prep. I've got sticky on it. I have my take your pick tool here. And uh, this is why I said I wished I had uh, some garden green uh, thread. And I wish I had some garden green bling. But that's okay. This red looks great. And there we are. There is both of our cards. So, there is the envelope for that one. And there's an envelope for that one. Let's move this out of the way. Let me show you my originals. Let's get all of this out of the way, too. Yuck. So see, this didn't take too long. No, just 31 minutes after I talked. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -uh. Oh, Debbie. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not ready for getting having a Medicare card. I'm just... <laughs> so here's the original with the green base. And here's the original with the red. And I just love how this turned these turned out. These are going to be really great cards to give out at work, I think. Thank you, Sheila. I appreciate that. Now, I'm going to show y'all the embossing I did yesterday. If y'all saw um, Robin's uh, technique video she did last week, it was really awesome. I really enjoyed it. She was taking background stamps, and she was embossing them. And this is the... Let me see. <laughs> let me tell you what it was. It's the... Uh, Stacked stone. The stack stone. This is the only one I have done so far. This is the stack stone and would use the clear embossing powder. And I love how that turned out. And it feels so good and it's so pretty, I think. So I thought, okay, she showed, but she didn't show how she did it with um with a color. So I thought, okay, the only way that she could have done this is to um do the color and then the uh, Versa mark on top of the color. So I did black and the Versa mark and then stamped it and then embossed it with the clear embossing powder. And it makes it kind of look gray, doesn't it? I love how that turned out. I love how that turned out. I, I was just trying. So I thought, okay, let's do real red. <laughs> I have no idea what I did wrong on this one. But this is how it should have looked. 
all the way down for some reason or another. I mean, I can feel the embossing powder on here, but it just didn't do the same as this one did. Uh, maybe I didn't press down enough here and get enough on here or something, but I still like it. But anyway, here it is, and this is how I use the red ink and then the Versa mark on top of that in the clear embossing powder. And I'm going to try some more of my backgrounds with this later. Not today, but later. Anyway, that's the embossing I did yesterday I was going to tell you all about. Now, I'm going to show you the first time that I did this technique with this pattern. Um, this layout, this layout I did with a, our um, Dragonfly Garden. So, sweet, I used it and I, I cut me out some dragonflies. I used some uh, layering squares and I used our punch. Here's some uh, dragonflies I did different. I was just stamping them differently to see how I liked them. And anyway... Uh, this is what I, I made with it, and I used the same the same layout, and just swapped up my colors. Uh, this is Blackberry Bliss, and this is um, Calypso Coral. Uh, yeah, Calypso Coral, and I used a different stamp. I used a stamp on this one, and I just used the Dragonfly Punch. And punched out my dragonfly and did my dragonfly and clip so coral. And see, and I stamped with uh, Blackberry Bliss on this one. And I really love how these turned out. And uh, <laughs> I did, of course, yeah, you know, six of these. And uh, this be great. I mean, with this sentiment, you know, make good things grow all year long. This is a great New Year's card, I think. You know, to use the DSP. I love this DSP. It is so awesome. So, uh, you know, it is wonderful. Dandy Garden. I even had to order me another pack. <laughs> because I know I'm going to be using some more of this. So that's the, what I started out when I thought I would use this pattern. And I did these two cards. And then I thought, no, my gosh, let's do Christmas. So I thought we'd do Christmas this morning. I'm, I'm probably Christmasing y'all to death, aren't I? But anyway, here it is for today. I don't know, next Monday is the Monday before Thanksgiving. And, but my plan is <laughs> I'll be off Sunday. So I can uh, always come up with something to show y'all Monday. Um, I've got some, I've got another order coming today. Uh, it was supposed to be tomorrow, but it's coming today, which is like, woohoo! I think my paper pumpkin's coming today. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll have something different. I, maybe I can show y'all. And maybe not do Christmas. I don't know. I might. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, thank y'all so much for coming by and watching me and listening to me jabber on. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Get in your crafty room and create something. And I'd love to see what you're creating. I love you guys. And I will. Yay, Debbie. I'm glad. But anyway, good Lord willing, everything goes well. I'll be back Monday evening at 7 Central right here on The Praying Stepper. I love y'all. Bye.